<laughs> and uh, good evening, and thanks, STW. And good to be with you, and good to be with everybody. Looking good down there, Fox. Yep, yep, looking good. <laughs> yes. Good evening, everyone. We were, we were having a tough time, as you can see there. So I think we were saying something like a hashtag Halloween figured out, hashtag no barking dogs. Yeah, win in Halloween, win in Halloween. So yeah, between the both of us, we got three dogs. They weren't barking. We were having a good time out there watching the kids. And you can see there's two bowls of candy there and... It was a two-for-one deal. Walk up one driveway and get two pieces of candy. <laughs> yep, yep, I think you're right. Yep, it is a tradition. And it just just worked. It, uh, so, yeah, lots of fun last night. Yeah, yeah Chucky, I, he got... Boy, he's got a different side that we didn't see before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello. Hey, Epic. Just coming in on final here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh I think they've seen it. So yeah, we had the ambiance going on there with the spooky sound and the fireplace and all we needed was a few things levitating around us to finish it off, I think. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get some fishing line or something and have some levitate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was Darth. Shoot. Darn it. Check one, check two. There it is. Wow, man. Dang it. Anyways, you guys saw the pictures. We were saying how, how fun it was uh, getting together last night in the driveway. And two houses for one. Um, uh, that was awesome. And then uh, yeah. it was just commenting on how 
we had some lightsabers underneath the table, so if we had Star Wars characters coming up and they were the, the dark side character, I'd pull out my blue light side lightsaber. And if they were a good guy, I'd pull out the red one. But we didn't have any Star Wars characters last night's tree. Yeah, no, we didn't. Not a single one. Yeah, I was surprised. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks like you went with the dark side here, as I was saying. In Kayak Kevin's response, uh. I will do what I must. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Oh uh, yeah, that was awesome. So that's a bit of fun last night, and uh, yeah, there you have it. Treetop and I are in, in real life next door neighbors, and uh, yeah, we're living it up. Yeah, yeah, just had a great time last night, and just. You know, you always look forward to Halloween. It's fun, but after about the fiftieth time, you get out of your chair and go to the door, and a dog bark. It's not as much fun by the end of the night. And last night, it was like we could have stayed out there as long as they kept coming. We could have stayed out there. Yeah, yeah. So it worked out really good. All right. So tonight we are um, over here at uh, Louisville. Uh, we were here last week, and I had some issues with my my sound last week as well. So hopefully, I was just testing it before the stream, and I was hearing the VAT sim over my radio, so I think I got it working uh, this time around, but uh, we'll see. So we got uh, uh, STW222, he's probably streaming right now. Oh, Splasher6 is here. Hey, Splasher. And welcome in, Splasher. Nice. Splasher, you're sub subscribing? Do you have multiple accounts? Seems like you just subscribed. Wow, oh, Splasher, that's awesome. thank you. That's awesome. This evening, uh, Flocks and Tree uh, chat. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Yep, post Yes, Halloween. happy Wednesday. We're just doing our post-Halloween wrap-up. And... Yep, Splasher, sending uh, Treetop and I to FS Expo. I got a PayPal savings account, and that's where the when the money comes into PayPal, I move, I'm moving it right over to that savings account from here until next June when we uh, head out to the Expo. So I'm um, thanking everybody for doing that. That's awesome. I yeah, know, right, sure Splasher? Looking, Go ahead. Go ahead. Hope, hopefully as many people as are, are with us online and, and uh, just watching and or participate with us can be there too and certainly flocks and i plan to do a vigorous reporting while we're there and uh to uh to those who can't be there at least be able to share what we see right yeah so i probably will stream on the discord maybe every once in a while from down there on my phone so while that event is happening be sure to kind of keep an eye out on the discord channel to see if we pop on the stream or not Hey, does Discord send out announcements when somebody starts, like, on a voice channel and starts sharing their screen? Does does it do that? Well, I know I get alerted on my phone every time there's a post from anybody. Yeah, if there's a post. I don't know if you start talking. Start, like, a voice channel. Uh, uh, that I don't remember. So, uh, Epic has taken the 0A6M21 out for a spin, it sounds like. So, okay, oh, yeah, we, should get, we should get started, right, Tree? Yeah, I think I think so. Are you thinking about doing a uh, ILS approach tonight? Uh, I was just thinking about it. I haven't decided yet, so let's get fired up here. I'll do, I'm going to and... do some of my setup for, 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 for it. I'll, I'll get the approach, um, the approach, uh, plate. Kind of pulled up, so I have that to look at, and I'll be Ooh, tuning you're doing in approaches my radio. Today? Huh? What? 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 You're, you're doing approaches today? I might do a, uh, I might do a ILS approach. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. Now somebody else is on approach tonight, I think, right? Because they beat you to it. No, so. I'm, a, I'm on approach now. The guy, oh, you got the guy left. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. So are you? So are? Do we have tower approach and ground, or just tower? Uh, approach? tower and approach. Okay. You, you missed ground. He was around earlier. Oh, gotcha. Okay. No, 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 no. Correction. Ground missed us because we're here now. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, you yeah, missed right. probably one one of the best controllers in my one of the best uh, tower oh. slash ground controllers. Oh okay. darn it! All right, well, I'll, I'll take that back. Yeah, because <laughs> we're not the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Hopefully, uh, my profile is doing. I, I, I really should. Until I have this these profiles down perfect, I should be testing these ahead of time. But I think I'm good. Looking at primaries here, and I'm getting an answer. What, what profile are you talking about? Well, my yoke is shaking a little bit, so it, which tells oh, me. Oh, do you have one a, that's got like force feedback? No, no. The, I'm just watching in the cockpit, and the yoke is shaking a little bit, like it might be conflicted. Oh, so like a dead zone issue or something? Uh, more like two things trying to talk to it at the same time. Two settings on the same, but I. But on the other hand, I have full range of motion here, so I think I'm okay. Yeah, I think I think trees kind of dipping his toes into the different uh, control profiles in the sim. Once we got the juice goose and stuff, it kind of forced his hand to create uh, unique profiles. R right, so and you I, get, I you're getting I, used to it. Yeah, and somehow I, I lost the the first one by my dumb efforts. So, uh, anyways, yeah, we'll figure it out. But I think. I think I got control here. Uh, certainly have throttle control because you fixed me last week, STW. So I'm good there. Okay, let's see here. Um, uh, first thing I need to do is get this bird fired up. So let's get, let's get old one one eight Romeo fired up. And if anybody's interested and you're flying with us, and I show up as a generic. You know, finanza to you. There, there is a link that comes up on a reoccurring basis that points you where to download the liveries that I have for One Eight Romeo. Um, so I encourage you to to check those out when they come up. All right. So first thing I want to do is get these wheel chocks off. Shut off the iPad here. Here we go. Yeah, let's get some some batteries and stuff going here. Batteries are on. Nav light is on. Oh, did my batteries die? Not. My batteries didn't die. I think they did. All right, let's, let's turn everything. Maybe off. check if the physical switch is turning on. Yep. I think they are. I think I've done this before. Let's see, those are going to be. Where are those switches? Oh. Can't remember where they're at. The battery switches to the right of the throttles. There it is. Yeah, they're 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 coming on and off. So right, you so got a dead battery. You got a dead battery, so let's recharge it. Bring back my iPad. Recharge battery. I could hear the electricity back to 12 volts. <laughs> All right, yeah. here we go. All right, so nav's on. Man, that's on. Good. Nav light is on. We'll take a look outside. Nav lights are on. Okay. Let's uh, crack the throttle. Prop mixture full forward. Fuel pump. Get that pump turned on. Okay. Get our radios going here. That one's already on. Go. Tree, don't look in front of you. Oh, don't look in front of me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did not his prop strike though. He didn't scratch my paint? Oh, wait a minute, that's not you. No, it's not me. You're not in front of me. Those sectors good. Clear prop. Bring her up to a thousand. Warm up a little bit there at a thousand RPM. Alright, radio check. Let's see here. 
So we got our airport diagram. Our airport diagram shows our uh, our ATIS and uh, tower frequencies. Um, so it looks like tower or ATIS is 118.72. Let's get that tuned in and hopefully that serves as a radio check and I don't have the same problems I had last time. That is right. The right will expect visual approach runway 1. And that's coming left. across. Everybody runway should be able to hear that. Cool. Right. Simultaneous visual approach is in use. Notices to air mission. Push and target oh, pilot suppression. All aircraft read back call runway hold short instruction. Nice. EFR aircraft state direction of flight. Actually, Five I don't think it is the zero. You have information November. Oh, yeah, it is a zero. Okay, we gotta listen to this. Here we go. Pantafort Airport ATIS information November 0156 Zulu. Went 150 at 5. Visibility 10. Sky clear below 12000. Temperature 4. 2.3. Minus 3. Altimeter 3037. 3037. Parking runway 17 wow. left. Runway 17 right. Arrivals expect visual approach runway Wait, 17 I'm not hearing left. Anything here. Runway 17 right. Simultaneous visual approach is in use. Notices to air mission. Yikes. What have I done? Push and target pilot. Are aggression. you connected to VATSIM? All aircraft read back. Uh, yeah, trees not here. Oh. I, I see five names up there in the GA ramp, and you're not one of them. Advise on initial contact. You have information November. Oh. Info November. Actually, there's no more 27 Victor. November 0156 Zulu. Went 150 at 5. Visibility 10. Sky clear below 12000. Temperature 4. 2.3. Minus 3. Altimeter 3037. 3037. Departing wow. runway 17 okay. left. Runway Information 17. November. It's cold out right now. Right? Man. It's been the coldest weather I've ever had. Right, oh, oh, you're talking about the temperature here? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little cold oh, outside. The altimeter. That's how, how how high it is. Oh, I've seen it higher. I've also seen it way lower. Yeah, I've seen it higher and lower. I've, I've seen 2 9 or like 1 5 before. Wow. Not here at Louisville, but it was somewhere up in Canada I was in. Oh, well, that makes sense. That's Canada. All right, so. But like, it wasn't even oh, during the win during like big winter storms or anything, or maybe it was. I don't know. Just a, a quick uh, announcement for Vatsim. Uh, check out Vatsim.net, I believe it is. Um, you know, to get uh, signed up and register for Vatsim, you can go into observer mode um, and just listen in, which is a great way to get used to uh, you know the radios and stuff. Fly along with us in observer mode, it'd be, it'd be great. And when you're ready, you know, come on in. The water's fine. But uh, over here, if you're wondering, you know, how do, how do you find places that are being controlled on VATSIM, I mention this every week, you use this uh, application called VATSPY that a uh, VATSIM uh, site will give you a link to when you're all registered. And you can see uh, who's in control. The big blue areas are center controllers. They handle the airway traffic in between uh, 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 departure and approach uh, between between airports. And then if I zoom in, we'll see um, KSDF, and you can see there's somebody on a tower here, somebody on ground in a tower over here, right? So we're coming into K KSDF at Louisville. We've got somebody on a tower, and we've got the ATIS frequency. Um, and then if you look at the little green arrow, you can see people are queued up to uh, take off. This is how you find out what airports are where to go and who's doing what. But we do not have a ground controller, okay? Um, we do have tower, and we do have approach out here. That's what the circle is, okay? So let me get back to this. And let's take a look at the V pilot. We'll get that fired up here. So I'm already in. We just listened to ATIS, but uh, if you come down here to the airport that we're at, which is KSDF Louisville, you can see the ATIS frequency if you double click on it. 
It'll give you a typed word uh, readout of what's being said on the radio, which is a great thing to do. This read this first and then listen. Um, and you know we got great visibility tonight. It's cold. Um, we have runway 17 left and 17 right um, in use. Uh, simultaneous visual approaches are in use, so uh, you can have uh, people landing on parallel runways at the same time. Uh, so we can expect that. And then we uh, we need to switch over to tower because we don't have ground and get our uh, get our clearance and uh, and taxi instructions request taxi. So let's see where's tower. There's SDF tower one two four dot two zero. Get that keyed in here. Ooh, whoops! Uh, no wonder I'm not hearing them. Uh, oh. You're right. One two four dot two zero. Yikes! This is the uh, the ATIS I was just speaking to down here, and here's that typed readout. Just double click on it. We have information November. And then up here is tower SDF 124.20. Tower. Winds 150 at 5, runway 17 left, clear to land. Double clear to land right here, until it's Okay. Oh, thanks for putting those links in there, STW. Nice. All right, we were just uh, hearing a tower there a second ago, talking to somebody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and file my flight plan. Hey, who's that? Uh, DH is in checking in. Hey there, DH. Welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, flight plan. Okay, I said I'm going to try to take off at 2.15. How are we doing? How are we doing on time? Ooh. I'm way off. I better say 7.30. Or 0.2.30. Okay. And file flight plan. Here we go. You see it's filed. Minimize that. Okay. See, DH is checking in between some TV episodes. Nice. November 6298, Papa. That uh, departure frequency is incorrect on your PDC also. in my eye. Yeah, always good to see you there, DH. Welcome in. Yeah, welcome in, DH. Okay, so, uh, based on the winds, I should share that as well. I have this cool website uh, that gives us kind of a, a heads up on what the wind is going to be doing. Um, up here, I could just I just change the IKO code of the airport I want to go to, or you can search for it over here. Um, but uh, it brings up the, uh, the airport. So let me say KSDF here. KSDF. There we go. Oh, man. And then you can see the wind is coming out of 150 at 5 knots, so that means that runway 17 is in use, and we have parallel runways, 17 right, 17 left. And we're spawned in right over here in this GA parking, so we're, we're pretty well set here um, we're, where we need to be, so that's convenient. Uh, but here's a link to this. I'll put this in chat for people. There go. Turn that off. And let's give a call here. So can we ask for pattern Number work first? Three one eight Romeo Louisville Tower, say request. Ooh, I didn't say anything. Why is he calling? Did he call me? I know. I don't know. Can we ask for pattern work and then and then ask for I, I, I'll ask work? Yes. Later. 
if we yes. want to? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you just, you know, while you're up there in the pattern, you just go request practice approaches and he'll he'll give you your, your clearance for it and then you're off. Gotcha. Okay, and then I just got to tune in the localizer. What, do you, we know you what could tune in the localizer while you're on the ground right that's now. Exactly. Let's stop you from yeah. doing that. No, no, no. Okay. You know, well, work ahead of the aircraft, you know? That's that's what, what I was going to share, is, is that oh. we can do that now. Um, so, uh, but, and we need, but we need to look at the approach plate for that to see what that localizer frequency is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that up first. And where are we finding the approach plate again? Oh, that's right, that's what you're showing us. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go on that. American 1225, exit right when able. Right when able 1225. Okay, so I'm just pulling up Navigraph here, and then the top left corner. I'm gonna hit the search button. And I'm going to put in KSDF. And I'm going to choose this first so tower, option. Uh, I can step on to you. You're going to push Clicking on this. Yeah. Okay. Version 7592. Push and then over here, your own request. or down here at the bottom down here, Open up. it says airport, open charts. Terror. American 1225, we got the update. Okay. So I'm going to say open charts. Okay. American 1225, taxi terminal, via Delta, Star, approach, Gulf, Mike, taxi, cross runway 29. Okay. The first one I, I normally would go to is taxi, and then I would pull up the ground, you know, the, the airport diagram. But we're interested in approach. That's going to be the APP. Okay, so there's the APP. And then we got to look for the runway we're going to be Version on. We're going to be on 17 left. Expect runway 17 left. Okay. And so what do we want? Do we want an RNAV approach? Or do we want the ILS localizer approach? We want the ILS localizer approach. Okay, and can, we, can you explain what's the difference between RNAV and, and ILS approach? Uh, no, but maybe STW can. RNAV is uh, usually GPS approaches. Like, you use GPS to fly an approach. There's like six, eight different kinds of them. I see. So you're in the Baron with a Garmin, right? Yes. Can he use an ILS approach in the Garmin? Yeah, he can, yeah. The yeah. ILSs are preferred most of the time. Okay. Because the thing between a precision approach and a non-precision approach... Almost all RNAV approaches are non-precision approaches, which means you can't just you can't fly them like super low to the ground. Whereas an ILS, you can fly it all the way to the ground, and if your airplane's capable of it, you could fly it to where the plane does the flare and everything for you. Right, that's cool. Gotcha. And RNAV, you can't do that. I think there are newer RNAV procedures that you can, but they're few and far between. Yeah, there's a few RNAVs that are uh, in testing. Yeah, I have no idea what all the different ones are called. Gotcha, okay. So we're going to select ILS. I'm clicking on ILS. Now this is going to bring up the chart. And, and and we're bringing up the runway 17 left chart. You and that's the right approach plate for 17 left. Correct. And now we can see, okay, here's 17 left. And I, you know, you can see me parked right next to it. But up here is the ILS uh, uh, DME. And the frequency we need to turn tune in on our nav radio is 111.95. And that's the course that we need to tune in on our Oops. course indicator, 170. Because we're landing on 17. What, what was that frequency again? 11. 111.95. One, 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 okay. I'll do that on mine too. Okay. And approach, do we, does it say in the plate what the frequency for approach is? Because that won't be tower, right? Um, they'll, yeah, I'll look here in a second. They might tell you to switch to the frequency, but it's good to know what it is ahead of time. And I think it's on here. We'll look in a second. Okay. Okay. So I got one one nine five. Aircraft calling in. All I'm getting is static. Uh, I've got one one 
one dot nine five tuned in on my nav radio. Now we got to go to, not the heading bug, not the heading bug. We got to go right, to the course. Tower, uh, November five seven one Charlie Kilo. One seven zero. Is at the Atlantic ramp with information November. Uh, looking to pick up IFR for practice approaches on runway one seven left. November five seven one Charlie Kilo, standby. Now what's going to happen, Tree? Is you know you, this line that's over here? Maybe yep. a little bit of a delay. <clears throat> when we're lined up on the ILS, this line will be right directly in the middle. Correct. So yeah, so when this is lined up, it's going to be putting us right down the middle of the runway. And yours might be different than mine. Over here on the left hand side, I I have this uh, glide slope indicator that's going to be going up and down. Good it's, it's not going to stay level, I guarantee you. It's going to be going up and down as I come in. But I'll have a glide slope indicator over here on the left. And you're going to gotcha. have a glide slope indicator over on the left-hand side of your Garmin display also. It'll be like a little diamond, I think. A little pink diamond. Actually, okay, actually, uh, what I, I have is a, I'm, the Baron has analog. Kilo. So I don't have. For it, it'll have both. I think I'm using there's a, Garmin I think there's a for thing the radios, on... but I'm, I've got a, a, a analog well, five, five, display five. just like yours. Oh, okay. And but you said something about the left dial. Right, squawk, five, we don't. We're not turning anything there, right? I t I turned this one here. I turned. I tuned it to one seven zero. The left dial. The course. Indicator. Oh, just a sec. I can't. I'm. I'm too much radio traffic. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, oh darn it. I'm gonna actually change. I don't need ATIS anymore, so I'm just gonna change it here because I can't hear. So let's just enter. There we go. Okay. Say that again, Flox. I'm sorry. So, for t tuning in courses, you have two options. You have the heading bug. Right. Or you have the VOR course selector. Okay. I'm in my using, case, that's the left dial. Yeah, and it should, if you hover over it, it should say HSI course. Uh, it just turns blue, but that's okay. So, what are you doing with the HSI course right tuning, now? Tuning it to 170. Oh, 170? Yep. Because that's, that's, oh, yeah, that's the runway. Yep. So, Little power virgin so, I have that tuned ahead of time. Yep. Oh, that makes sense. I don't have a 170, but I have, I'm thereabouts. Let's see. Yeah, one, okay, that'd be 160. Let's see, 150, 160. Yeah, 160. yeah that'd be 170. Hell, okay. November Delta. 170 is one click below 180, which is south. Okay. And. So, as we're up in the pattern, you know, and we, you know, turn final this 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 uh, yellow uh, indicator will be in the middle telling us that we're lined up on the runway and it's their job to Remember tell it to get us at the right Romeo. altitude also uh, the, uh, let me know so that we can pick up yeah. the uh, the the uh, glide path so when we're coming in on final they'll have us at the right altitude Romeo, we got to be Romeo. looking to see the glide approved. slope and and Walk. then follow that glide slope one, down. Two, zero, one. Got it. And so it might take us a couple of times, but Walk it's okay. Number two six Romeo Romeo. Right. Let me know when you're ready for taxi. And and then, we're ready to get a squawk. And then looking at the uh the, the, the approach plate, okay, we're gonna be okay. We're going to be in our pattern one, Charlie, Kilo, hold right here, echo, ready for right? Taxi, runway one, seven left. Okay. Yep. We're going to be in the pattern right here. The waypoint for the threshold for one seven left is called IPKI. Okay. That's the waypoint for the threshold yep. of the runway. And you'll notice there's another waypoint right here. Okay. That's KLI or KLE. Okay. What they're going to do when we're in the pattern and we say that we're ready to go in for an approach practice, they're going to vector us out over this way to, to the northeast. Heading one 
Runway okay. 17 left, clear for And have us intercept. Yeah, I could put you to the northwest if I wanted to. Yeah, we'll yeah, anywhere. You. Northwest, northeast. But they're going to vector um, us so out off clearance off clearance and then vector us into one runway. of these waypoints. You know, it could be racer. Okay, it could yeah, be... I'm, I'm probably going to put you between racer and slugger an for 17 left, though. Okay, so between racer and slugger. Um, I'm still so here's the, the deal. I, I, I could go what altitude should we expect? For an, for an in order to pick up that glide slope, oh, it's, it's being like broadcast. we got to be at the right altitude to kilo. pick it up. What altitude should we expect? Uh, I might, I might well, we can look down here. We're looking for racer yeah, and slugger. Runway 17 left, yeah, down here is a diagram. Left, yeah, echo, racer, we need to be at 4,000 feet. Oh, slugger's 25. 25. And look, slugger's 25 all the way out here, almost all the way to racer. So if he puts us in between racer and slugger, our target altitude will probably be 2,500 feet. Okay, so here, here's so. the thing about that, uh, I think they call it the profile view, is you know it's saying you cross racer at 4,000, but then you can immediately go into 2,500 if you want it, but if you're flying it like an ILS, Instead of you know maybe a plane, you know that doesn't have vertical capability, you know you you would it would be a smooth path between racer and slugger. It wouldn't be right like a drop like that unless unless you're localizer only. And if we're at if we're at uh, so that takeoff clearance is still valid for one. Yeah, we should be able to pick up the glide slope at twenty five hundred. Remember, if I otherwise they wouldn't be saying we could be at twenty five hundred. Fly runway heading. You know. runway yeah, so here's one of the one of these ATC things. There's runway this thing called a minimum runway vectoring runway altitude. Runway I can't get you below three thousand feet in that area. Okay. So you inter you'll intercept it at three thousand okay. or four thousand if I got to put you out farther. Okay. But we should expect two thousand five hundred at Slugger then. Well, yeah, when yeah. you cross the yeah. waypoint yeah. of exactly. Slugger, exactly. you know, 7.6 miles out from the local no, or on the localizer, then you should be at 2,500. Papa, yeah. runway 17 left, taxi via echo. And how do we know on our instruments when we're at yeah. Racer or Slugger? We don't know that unless we have a... Uh, you look at your distance measuring equipment. To, you know, it should oh. tell you how far away you are from the ILS antennas. Yeah, so what and they're the, saying... the D and then the number above, or actually below the waypoints there, that tells you how far you are from the uh, the antenna. Oh, DME, okay, yep, got it. Thanks, Charlie Six, and thanks, SCW there. So, okay. so down here is the distance between each of the waypoints. It's 1.2 miles, 1.2 miles, 3.7 miles. But it looks like November, up here it says it's 7.6 miles. Order 132.325. Order 132.325. Copy that. Copy Love you. What I'm seeing. And the distance between this one and this one is 5.8. So 7.6 7, 7 miles out. So when we're looking at our DME. Over here. Version right now, I'm 1.2 miles away from the, from the, uh, runway one the VOR left, the, or from the localizer. Oh, yeah, I am too. Okay, so when, this, yep. when this reads 7.6, we should be at 2,500. Hey, gotcha. good day, mate. Uh, good day, mate. Alright, I'm gonna go. See ya. See ya. Oh, okay, Epic. Thanks for joining. But tree, they, they 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 will talk us through it. We'll be in the pattern, and they'll say, "Fly heading," um, you know. Right. I, re I remember last one, time zero, they vectored us. And then he'll say, "Turn, turn, turn," and then pretty soon we're lined up and where we need to be. So they 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 t they vector us and they tell us where to go. All I'm trying to do is look at the approach plate and build an expectation. Okay. Agreed. Hundred percent. Yep. Hundred percent. No, I, that that's that approach plate was very helpful. And and you know, think about what we've done so far in, on Vatsim. We've never talked about the approach plate to the detail that you brought it up tonight. So that's that's good. And then I remember the one other time we we did it. Um, he did vector us all the way around, just like it's almost like an expanded pattern that mm -hmm. you do by yourself. The the 
big mistake I made the last time is I just didn't use the autopilot. And yeah, autopilot really, helps a lot. It does because then I have then I have freedom to do the radio, you know, anything else that needs to happen. So well, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt there. No, it's all good. Back. Uh, let's see here. So I, I think I'll start in a pattern, and I'll just ask him. One day, so I could I could start in a, a pattern, and then I could be in the pattern and ask him. Or I guess I guess I don't know. Maybe it's just easier just to start with the ILS work. Winds one five zero. Oh, I mean five, we can get our seven left, clear to land. We can get our feet wet, and one then one when we're on the on the uh, the downwind, contact departure one three two five. Have a good flight. Um, you know, like to be vectored for an ILS approach, practice an approach, and and he'll take it from there. He'll tell us what to do from there. Just have your autopilot okay. ready. Have your heading yeah. bug, have your heading bug set. So um, on your when you're on your downwind, before you make the call, set your heading bug for for your downwind. Have your altitude, go, you know, going if you're going to use your altitude. Make the call, and then he's going to give you a heading, and then you just tune it in, and your plane will turn on that heading, and you'll be good to go. And then you have the course dialed in already so as he's giving you the the uh you know your new headings you don't you don't touch your course needle you just change your headings and then you, eventually you'll get lined up with the runway and you'll see your needle coming in that, that makes sense uh what was i going to say something else about the autopilot oh uh my heading go. bug it defaults in the Baron. It just defaults to whatever direction you're flying. You don't have to tune it ahead of time. Okay. So when you when you hit it, it's already that direction. Then you change it from there. So that, that just one thing you don't have to do in the Baron. Okay. And I think I'm going to set my heading bug just so it's close, and I don't have to spin it around. I'm gonna put it down here, kind of. Oh, uh, why is my on the opposite end down here? Well, okay, my yokes aren't moving, but my control surfaces are. So I don't know what's going on with the yoke here, but I think I have control of the aircraft. I hope so. That's the weirdest darn thing. Aileron turn is not working on the yokes. I don't know why that would be. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make November the call. six two nine eight oh. Papa, continue holding for one seven left. Yeah, I continue the hold. Sorry, I was just and get ready with squawk. Receive squawk code. No problem. I have traffic on a on a final. Uh, gonna... Shoot, my sim just crashed. If you're still hearing me, I'm sorry, Nettery Papa. I'm gonna try. Go to ahead. Oh, I was gonna say. Uh... I can hear you. No problem. Uh, I'm going to be requesting PFR clearance and November then I'll request the ILS eight, approach Romeo, in the air. Are you uh, still here? Okay. I keep hearing Romeo thinks he thinks he's talking to me, but I think it's epic. Okay, the biggest thing to remember is a 2-5 intercept point. For, how to plan... Oh, oh that's a good point, Charlie. Charlie. Six, you can always no. say you're unable to do something. ATC is part of the team. They can be a big help. You communicate. Which is okay. the C and A and C. Aviate, navigate, communicate. Ah, well said. Yep. Yep. Oh, very well said. Thank you. And Louisville Tower, uh, Piper November 6318 Romeo is requesting a VFR clearance for pattern. Okay. Rate. So I'm going to say. Number six three one eight Romeo pattern work is approved. I will get you this walk here in a second. Approved and standing by when you Romeo. Oh, I gotta switch to the right one, <laughs> right frequency. That that would help. Louisville Tower. This is. Baron, November one one three seven Victor requesting pattern work seventeen from seventeen left. 
November 1137, Victor, Clarence request standby number two. What do you say there? Uh, he's going to get your clearance and he says standby, you're number two. Mm. 137, Victor, standby. Oh, I'll wait for the squawk. And I've got all of the, uh, all of the distances and the altitudes written down from last time on my little boogie board here for, mm. for the, okay. uh, the approach. All the oh yeah, you do. Yep, very good. And all your landing rates from last time. <laughs> uh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, and I don't think I have mine turned on. Oh, I forgot to turn we'll see on. see how we do tonight. Yeah, I forgot to turn on my flow tonight. Darn it. I'm not going to be able to tell you what mine are. I think flow's already on for me. It just oh, thanks, Charlie. Charlie. Uh, clear of... Uh... One seven left on two uh, going south. Not sure this actually. We're going to Atlanta. So. November eight nine four whiskey delta taxi to the FBO via Echo. Echo, that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, taxi to the uh, FBO via Echo. Thank you. Uh, four seven. Yeah, it's cool. Called a boogie board. See it up there on the top. It might be backwards. I don't know. And it's a liquid crystal, and you push that little button, and it, it'll wipe everything out. You can flip a switch so that it it won't let you wipe everything out. I should probably do. I can never remember which one is saved, which way is saved though. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so it's perfect for this. And we're standing by. Standing by. Okay. Now I'm going to pull up the airport diagram. I've got that one going. It. That's so handy. Right. That's just so handy. So here we go. I was able to. I can turn this off. So here we are at the airport in, in Navigraph. You can see my indicator of where I'm at. There's one seven left. So we'll be in the pattern, probably going this way. And then if I click on the uh, airport parking positions here in coordinates, this is the airport diagram. And it pulls it up. And it kind of looks like, you know, this piece of paper here. Right? But then if I click on this little overlay button, if I click on that, then it overlays it on the map. And now we can see the taxiways on our position. And this is worth the, the subscription, man. It, it is. That that alone. alone. That alone, yeah, for me. Yeah. Not, to, yeah, not to mention the extra stuff it brings, but that one by itself, yeah. Just amazing. Yeah, Flock. So if I remember right, the default setting for Navigraph is it kind of centers your plane on the tip of the arrow. Do you want that or do you want it on the center of the arrow? I, I think the tip. I, I prefer the center of the arrow. Do you? I think I, a lot of the other software I've used in the past where it has like an arrow, I've gotten used to it being like towards the tip there. So I'm, I'm okay with it being towards the tip. And, and uh, Charlie says, yeah, it's Navigraph. So we're over here at the FBO in general aviation. Um, I'm expecting uh, one seven left. Here we go, one seven left. And so we'll probably get something like taxi via echo, which would be putting us up on echo up here at the threshold. Or we could get taxi via echo, echo four, um, and get like an intersection departure. Awesome. November 1137, right. Victor, squawk 4230. 
number 1137 Victor, let me know when you're taxi for Pymark. November 6318, Romeo, pattern work is approved. Squawk 5502. Uh, 5502 for 18 Romeo. Leave the tower 137 Victor, uh, confirm squawk 4320. November 1137 Victor, squawk 4230. Okay, move over here to where I fly from. Okay, I hope this yoke works correctly. Well, I hate to throw up two weeks in a row. Yeah, two weeks in a row here. One problem or the next. Last but, time we were doing bat sim, I couldn't fly, and you and you and you carried the stream. <laughs> that's right. And 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 that's after SDW fixed my throttles. Yeah. So, uh, but I'm looking for, from the exterior view, and all the control surfaces seem to be working. So, we'll just we're going to fly with a known uh, error. That's not life threatening. We think. We think. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm ready to taxi. Oh, go ahead. Oh, we got out ahead. Number one one three seven Victor. Runway 17 left, taxi via Echo. Uh, 17 left, taxi via Echo, Echo. Yeah, Echo, yep. Yep, okay. All right. Here we go. All right, Tree, you got your clearance. I was, yeah. was going to try to get out ahead of you tonight. I was just <laughs> getting ready to key in. But I got an idea. Uh, you know what? I'll let you go first. Well, no, he's already told me to yeah, go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going. See, you know, but I, I got an idea here. You, you go, you go I... do you. You go do you. Yeah, yeah. I got an idea. Intentional aircraft on frequency. Current information is Oscar winds one three zero at four. Altimeter three zero three eight. Oscar, All right? Oh, and I didn't tell him. I... Uh, so it's Oscar now, it's not November? Yeah, it's Oscar, but you don't have to tell him. It's okay. Okay. All right, so here we go. I meant to tell him that. A Louisville Tower, Piper 6318, Romeo, ready to taxi with a request. November 6318, Romeo, Louisville Tower, say request. Uh, intersection departure, Echo 4. November 6318, Romeo, request approved, intersection departure, Echo 4. Uh, intersection uh, departure, Echo 4. Yeah. <laughs> you outsmarted me once again. <laughs> Here we go. That. November 6318, Romeo, 17 left at Echo 4, taxi via Echo, Echo 4. Echo via Echo 4, 17 left, intersection departure for 18 Romeo. Okay, so he doesn't. That, that was a nice, nice move there, Fox. Good chess move. Uh, so I'm going to hold short here before I call him back. So I'll wait for you to get to Echo Four. Then you can take off ahead of me. Oh, okay. It's straight across from where we're at right now, so it won't take me very long. Right. No, it won't. November one one three seven Victor. Uh, check squawk code four four two. Three zero. Oops. Yeah, I don't think you're broadcasting four. to him. You got to no, no. I got it. I, I, I transferred four two three zero. Four, no, oh, I got four three two zero. Where is it? Is it? it? Luba Tower one three seven Victor. Uh, changing squawk to four two three zero. So far at night. Louisville Tower, 571 Charlie Kilos on a seven mile final on the ILS runway 17 left. November 571 Charlie Kilo wins 1304, runway 17 left, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 17 left, 1 Charlie Kilo.
Louisville Tower, November 6 3 1 8 room, you know, holding short, 1 7 left, Echo 4. Uh, how you guys doing this evening? Hey, sleeveless, doing good. Hey, sleeveless. Six three one eight Romeo, Roger. I uh, decided to do some practice purchases in a DC six, and I'm pretty sure I just went from a, a a walk to a gallop. I thought I knew this aircraft. I do not know this aircraft. Oh wow. Uh, what aircraft was it? The DC six. Oh, with the NDB approaches. Oh, it, it completely screwed everything. Like, uh, so, for one, I can't use the auto flight engineer, so I'm actually yep. going through the pre-flight check right now. Um, it's too quick. Everything's too quick. I ended up taking well, out I mean, two engines. if you engines. want a longer final, all you gotta say is you want a longer final. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. It's, it's the, like, for instance, when you set up the engine for D-cell, and then, um, uh, and landing, and then... Trying to flip it real quick on a tu and on a on a touch and go, so then you got to get your RPMs right. You got to get it's just you got to get your cow flaps right. It's just it's a mess. So I'm going through the checklist and I'm learning how to fly the plane without the AFE. Because once once I get it down to a science, then I can do this again no problem. So I know where all the switches are without waiting for the AFE to do it. Louisville Tower, 137 Victor, confirm, squawk 4230. November 137 Victor, squawk is correct. Louisville Tower, 137 Victor, hold short, 17 left on Echo. Nice. November 137 Victor, roger. So, yeah, we, we don't have clearance. No. Oh, and did we get? Oh, we didn't have the frequency for approach. The way we don't need it because they're. If you're doing paddle work, you don't need it. He'll give it to you if you're going out, though. Yeah. I uh, I do have so it written I down. I do have it written down from last time. Um, in STW, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like it's one 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 dot nine five. That is. That's that's that's, that's, that's an that's ILS the frequency. Right, the community. What, what's the? The radio com oh, for my mistake. Sorry about that. So you yeah, easy way to remember it. Thirty two, thirty two. Yeah, one three two dot three two. I got that written down too. Oh, I that's was right. Reading the wrong that's one. Right. One three two dot three two is the approach. Yep. So just in case I have to switch, I'd rather uh, do it here. Have it ready to go. So I think we're waiting for this person behind Raleigh Mall, um, everybody. Uh, there's somebody out here that was kind of on an extended approach out there. Not extended, but they were coming in. And you can see the, uh, the atmosphere. Yes, it's uh, 571 Charlie Kilo. There you go. You see his landing lights lighting up the air. It's awesome. Yeah, this navigraph is so nice. I <laughs> know right where I am. November one one three seven Victor winds one three zero no! four runway one seven left line up and wait. No. Oh. <laughs> Tower one three seven Victor seventeen left line up and wait. Oh man, I got what are you? I got out. Are you chest off? Moved. I got out chest moves. On the go for one try to kill him. What is it? Oh, he's going to let me take off before yes! you. Yes! <laughs> November 571. Technically, he's supposed to get both of you Echo 4. Roger. At least that's what it says in our procedures. Oh, does it? November 571, Charlie Cle Kilo, climb to 3,000 feet. Fly runway heading. Runway heading, climb to 3,000, 5,000, check it out. What's our altitude right now? About 500. Okay, so pattern altitude would be about 1,500. Got it.
Positive number 571, Charlie Kilo. Contact departure 132.325. Back over departure. Love you. <laughs> November 1137, Victor, Renz 1304, make left close traffic pattern, report midfield downwind each pass, run 117 left, clear for takeoff. 137, Victor, left close pattern, uh, clear for takeoff. And he wants us to report to him when we're midfield on the downwind. Oh. Which we haven't had that before. Victor, report uh, mid downwind. All right, trees rolling. You beat me again. Darn it. I'm looking right and left. The strobe's going here. Flaps one, confirm, away we go, into the wild blue yonder. Only to come back. <laughs> yeah, never come back. Here we go, rolling. Yeah, I, get, I give him about three minutes before he's back on the runway. <laughs> you tree. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh you're right, man. Yeah, I do. I have, uh... November 6318, Romeo, mm -hmm. winds 1304, runway 17 left, line up and wait. Uh, line up and wait, 17 left for 18, Romeo. There we go. Now, I need... Nav map. Where the hell I am. There we go. Am I painting a line? I don't remember. Guess we'll see. November 6318, Romeo. Make left, left closed pattern. Repeat, report from field downwind each pass. Runway 17 left, clear for takeoff. Uh, left closed traffic will report midfield uh, for winning Romeo. Alrighty. I don't have to go through the pre flight. I'll let the Alta flight go through the pre flight. That's way too much. There's a hundred things here to go through. Are you on the ground somewhere around Louisville? No, I'm on. I'm I'm down. Uh, I'm over in uh, Raleigh Durham at the moment. I have a uh, flight I have to do for um, one of my uh, on air flights. I have the test flight I have to do from Raleigh Durham to Richmond. Okay. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about pulling the Dash 7 out and doing the same thing. That's more forgiving and a lot simpler. November 1137, Victor. Runway 17. With the MU2 again. Hey. It's only a 39 minute flight, though. I should have said midfield downwind. I said halfway down downwind. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> That's why we're doing this. We're just we're taking it slow, and yep. you know we make those little mental notes along the way. Oh, you're right. Oh, nice oh, moon good. tonight. Oh, I got uh, oh I got my yoke back. Oh, nice. That's right, the way so to fly. What do you, you mean you got off? your yoke back? Like you made it so it just isn't there? No, it was it wasn't animated. It was frozen. Even though I had uh, from exterior view, I had control of my primary, but the yoke was frozen in one spot. Only for the ailerons, not for the elevator. But now, I've got uh, aileron movement on the yoke. That's the way you roll with with treetop flyer. You take whatever part of the plane works, you just take off. <laughs> <laughs> you just. Nothing wrong uh, with that. No. You get it in the air first, then you figure it out. Okay, I'm going to do a pattern here. 
Oh, well, let's do. Let's see what kind of landing rate I can get. Louisville Tower, November 6318 Romeo, uh, crossing midfield, downwind for 170. November 6318 Romeo. Traffic ahead of you is a Baron. Report traffic in sight. You have that traffic in sight. Maintain VFR separation and full traffic. Clear to land runway 17 left, number two. Uh, number two for 17 left will maintain VFR clearance. Anyway. Aces of Spades consistently coming through with the subs. Thanks again, man. It seems like you were just here. Romeo. Aces. I'm going to have you side step to 17 right. So, winds 130 at 4, side step for 417 right. Clear for the option. Uh, oh. Side step 17 right for 418 for Romeo. Wow, he moved you to the other side. He did. Boy. Because, I don't know. So, Aces, thank you for that support. Thanks for coming in and uh, supporting Foxtrot's hangar. And yes, so Aces, thank you. Just uh, got to let it be known that... From now on, all subs between now and uh, FS Expo. November 6298, Papa, standby. Papa 14. Are going into a savings account. Winds to send 134. It's awesome. Runway 17 left, clear to land. Much appreciated. 28 months, that's amazing. November 6318, Romeo, once uh, touchdown. You'll make right close traffic report midfield each pass. Uh, after touchdown, right close traffic, and we'll report midfield when you run me. One three three, Fox. Oh, nice. That's not bad. November six two nine eight. Top uh, say request. Yeah, I had a, right? uh, yeah, I yeah. a departure request from uh, Louisville to uh, Nashville. November 6 to night, Papa, can you uh, send that stra stra flight plan back in? Yeah, it's absolutely. Flaps in. I, I, as soon as I walked in uh, after I crashed, it, uh, I got an eight card message, so I wasn't sure. So, uh, Thank you. Yeah, Ace, it'd be great to have you there, man, to be able to meet you. I know, I, I know for a fact that, if, you know, we're all in Vegas down there together. We would forget that we're in Vegas and, you know, just you know, shaking hands, bro hugs, meeting and greeting, cheers. We would forget that we're in Vegas. One yeah, seven right, it's gonna be via, fun. Uh, Bravo, cross United right, Bravo, UPS twelve to seven heavy. A okay, three in the green. I should have checked a little earlier. Louisville Tower, November six, three, five, 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 five. Oh. I wish I had my November six two nine. Low Papa, running. Uh, that was a good landing. Check, stand by. November 1137, Victor, extend downwind. Uh, chat, how is, uh, Victor, extend downwind. how is, uh, VATSIM coming across the, the air traffic control? Is it a little low? Do I need to bump it up or is it okay? close traffic.
November 6298, Papa. Clearance is still the same. Squawk 2616. Okay, clearance is still the same, 2616. Sorry, if, uh, can you give me that initial altitude again? I, uh, yeah, obviously, when I had to restart it, on a lot of stuff. Uh, you are cleared to the National Airport via the Cargo 4 departure cargo transition. Maintain 5,000. Expect flight level 260. One zero minutes of departure. Departure is 132.325. <laughs> and it's all 2616. Uh, splasher. Okay. November 1137, Victor, turn base down. <laughs> you see that? That's awesome. Yeah. No, no splasher. November 1137, Victor, turn base now. Uh, no, it's flasher. No, it's Affirmative. it's going to be. One three seven Victor. Winds one three zero at four. Runway one seven left. Clear for the option. One three seven Victor. Seven, six, 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 six. Uh, it's flasher. It's going to for Flox and I. It's going to be nothing but peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and soda crackers. <laughs> Ooh, I'm losing control here. Yikes. No! Tree! Oh my god! Come back! Come so back, Tree! Papa, back oh! Oh, oh shoot! Short. I so, lost control of my surfaces. Oh my gosh. So what do you do if you lost control? You crash. Uh, you would report November uh, six, Mayday. No, November 6318. Romeo... Runway 17 right, clear for the option. I clear for the option and for 17 right. I'm gonna uh, reload, I guess. I th you gotta, you gotta tell him that you you're declaring an emergency. Yeah, you don't need to tell him. He's already crashed. Okay, All right. I've never crashed on Batsim before, but I lost control and I had 140 knots. So there was nothing there. So. It's uh, not true. I mean, being 140 knots doesn't mean you still can't stall. No, I was fine. How much of a bank did you have? Uh, the wind was knocking me around, but not that much. I, I mean, I had no answer. Yeah, I mean, how much How much of a bank did you have in your turn? I, I, like it, at what yeah, angle I, I, was the plane when you were turning? Oh, I was, I was like 30 degrees. Golf, Mike. Turning base, 30 degrees turning base, 140 knots, with no climb. Global power, 571 Charlie Kilos on a 7 mile final. So, at this point, SCW, I would just re. I would just. Remember, 571 Charlie Kilos, traffic field on parallel runway, winds 1304. Maybe you just pull back on the stick too hard, because that'll happen sometimes too, it'll stall you out. Land, so or it'll it'll make you enter a spin. So would I uh, just respawn on the airport again and start over? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll just start again. Darn it! Darn! It. I've never done that before. Three six whiskey. You are cleared to the international airport via Fedra five. That is irritating. Hopefully, a, a new load. Maintain 5,000 expect level 4 So, one, you know, here's one, something to cheer pressure, you up. I crashed my plane last night. One, oh, no. On the Cross the Pond? Is that the Cross the Pond event? Right, or was that the other night? Oh. Uh, wants me to do a darn survey. It's like, not tonight. Oh, no. Are you talking about the Concord? Uh, me? No. Um, I thought there was an across the pond event that SDW was in, mm -hmm. and but uh, that might have been the, a couple nights ago. Now that I think about it, green the green. Gosh darn! That's never happened. Yeah, Let's see what this new load does. What was a kiss? Was it Man, it was just a normal base. Uh, 30 degrees. So SDW at 30 degrees, at 140 knots. With no climb. Six whiskey, reback correct. Current information is Oscar. Expect 
expect runway 17 left. Push back and start your discretion. Tree, don't feel bad. I have like a thousand hours flying a DC-6. And like last night, or not last night, like last week I was on an ILS approach. And my flaps at 40 on the DC-6. I wasn't paying attention. And my plane had to trim itself up to stay in line with, uh, with the ILS approach. Because it was a really narrow approach. I didn't have enough... I didn't have enough power giving it to him before I caught it was too late. Mm. Oh, gotcha. And I uh, ended up crashing tail end yeah, into early in the uh, heavy, on the runway, like before one, I hit the runway. And it oh, completely, yeah. yeah. So don't worry. I've, I've, yeah, I just it's just uh, irritating. Uh huh. Welcome in, sleeper Chris. My first sub and my 500th follower, man. Welcome in. Good to see you. Treetop just declared an emergency, and uh, Man, what is he's, going jo on he's joined the. Did, uh, did he the actually, or did he just no, respawn? No, he didn't. He didn't. I'm just teasing. I, I, I respawned, but I'm 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 not taking off again. So I take back the advice I told everybody: don't take off with a known problem. <laughs> Fix it first. November six two nine eight, top of runway one seven left, taxi via Echo. Okay, why does that not work? EPS 1207, RNAV to lean, runway 17 right, Dollar. clear for takeoff. RNAV lean, 17 right, clear for takeoff, but uh, EPS 1207 better. Why are they shaking like that? Doesn't make any sense. Ooh, I might get 17 hmm. right on my approach now, so I gotta look up 17 right. I mean, really, is if whichever one you get, you just uh, so kind of look it up while you're on the downwind. November yep, 571, Travi Kilo, climb and maintain 5,000, fly runway heading. So it could be 3,000, Fly maintain 5,000, and fly runway heading, crash someone Travi Kilo. I don't understand why those things are shaking. Yeah, yeah. November 571, Charlie Color. Kilo, uh, Color. redact that. Climb and maintain 3,000, fly runway heading. Climb and maintain 3,000, fly runway heading. I just want to check you up. And Louisville Tower, November 6318, runway reporting uh, midfield. Oh, that's what happened. I, I, I lost. November 6318, Romeo, winds 130 at 4, control runway run 7 right, clear for the option. Control. Uh, okay. Seven right, clear for the option. Totally weird. November five seven one Charlie Kilo, we're off to uh, approach one three two point three two five. Over to approach again, babe. Love you. UPS twelve oh seven heavy. Contact approach one three two point three two five. One three two three two five UPS twelve oh seven heavy. Look okay. Card uh, citation of six eight. I'm sure. November 6298, Papa, winds 130 I don't hear anything on the stream. Are we still, you guys hear me RNAV okay? I hear you. Runway 17 okay. left. Clear I'll try to fix this, figure this thing out. Darn. Okay, this, this has motivated me now. Not tonight, tomorrow. I'm not going to stop till I have correct profile. It'll work. And Dylan says hello again. Just disembarked his aircraft. Oh, yeah, looks like you made it, bud. Yeah, Super Chris has been lurking, he says. Nice to have you. Super Chris, as always.
Yes, it is. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do an ILS approach um, on this on this run here. If I can get that going. Gears coming up and cakes on the griddle. Never for six two nine eight Papa. Contact departure one three two point three two five. One three two three two. Pilot going, and then we'll make the call. Number three five whiskey, runway one seven left, taxi via Mike Lima, November Delta. Romeo, runway 17 left, clear for the option. Uh, November 6318, Romeo's clear for the option, but I have a request. Yeah, I don't know what's November going on here. Two plus two is a four. Romeo, clear request. Hmm. It's seven. I'd like to be uh, <laughs> yeah. handed over to approach. Well, for, uh, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. ILS approach. <laughs> Until I get this thing working correctly. I can't November do this. You can't be doing broadcasts and then I'm uh, request failing approved. right in the middle. And I will do that once uh, you do this once uh, one last touch and go. Uh, one last touch and go for when it Romeo. So my apologies to everybody. I should have paid more attention to this thing. I thought I had it fixed. Unless my stick is failing for some reason. Can't believe that would happen. Hey, Flock, you still planning on doing uh, practice approaches tonight? Yeah, I just I just made the request. So he asked me to finish this pattern, do another touch and go, and he's going to hand you over to you. Okay. Are you getting ready to sign off, or are you just asking? No, I'm just asking. Continue okay. on golf, Thanks. make a left on November to Delta.
November 6318 Romeo, your new clearances, you're cleared to Louisville Airport via radar vectors, maintain 3000, departures 132.325, squawk 5502. Uh, 5502 and 132.32 for 18 Romeo. Okay, 5502 is already in. I think he said 3000. So 132.32, I'm switching over now. A little bill approach, uh, November 6318 Romeo on the upwind, 17 right, uh, passing through. 800, looking for uh, an approach. Number 6318, Romeo, low departure, radar contact, I will maintain a tree at 1000, and uh, say approach request. I will go with the 17 rate. Uh, the ILS or the oh, RNAP? Uh, ILS for 17 right and uh, climb into 3000. Number 6318, Romeo, you expect radar vectors for the ILS runway 17 right approach. We'll expect for 18 Romeo. Number 1 Charlie Kilo, flight heading 260. 260 for 1 Charlie Kilo. Hey, welcome in. Oh, we got a follow from uh, Shadow Angel. Welcome in, Shadow Angel. Uh, welcome in. Even though we've been doing it for oh, probably over eight months, I still like to say I'm new to VATSIM. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. Me too. We've been practicing pattern work for, for, for months, and we're taking it slow, encouraging people to join us. And now we're, we're getting, into, uh, uh, you, you know, getting into approaches and trying to work out an ILS approach. Um, so... Number one, the Charlie Kilo, the turn left heading two zero zero. Join the runway one seven left localizer. I'm climbing to three thousand on runway heading right now. Two zero zero to join the localizer for runway one seven left. That's the one Charlie Kilo. I'm wondering if it's the plane. I'm gonna. And number one, Charlie plane. Kilo, you're five miles from Slugger, maintaining three thousand. Sorry, 3, I'm just on the sidebar here. Localizer cleared to Alice, runway one seven left approach. Five from Slugger, uh, maintain 3000 until it will establish on the local ladder for runway 17 left. I just want to I just switched over nav, nav, Navigraph to show the uh, Louisville approach plate for 17 right. You can see where I'm at right Number here. Number 18 Romeo, flight heading at 290. 290 for 18 Romeo. Okay, two nine or zero. Get that tuned in. So now you should be seeing us making a turn. We're climbing through two thousand six hundred at the moment. Three thousand will be leveling off. Get that turned off for you so we get back in here. Climb into 3,000. 
think about leveling up now. Hope if I had my gear up. Yeah, it is fun, Shadow Angel. Once you get over the mic fright and stuff, ooh, ooh, 3,000, 3,000. Um, it's a blast. It's a hoot. It's challenging at times, but it's also very rewarding. Yeah, very, very rewarding. Number one, Charlie Healer, contact Global Tower, 124.2. Over to 24.2. Love you, babe. <laughs> Let me get trimmed out for 3,000 here. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're on 290 and we're getting vectored in for an ILS approach on 170 right. I've got my ILS frequency tuned in. Uh, 111.95. One, 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 Number one eight Romeo fighting three five zero. Three five zero for one eight Romeo. Okay, three five zero. Oh yeah, Flux, this time you're carrying the stream. I guess that's a good reason we have two of us. Right? Oh, here's the Discord. Let me put that in there. And uh, SDW222 is our approach controller that you hear on frequency tonight. And he's his channel is got a ton more resources than mine. Here's a shout out for SDW. That's fine. And we'll get that crosswind going. November 3410, whiskey, you want to play following to the flight? Negative. Departure. And number three five whiskey, a uh, little departure radar contact, say altitude. Um, one, six, or, uh, 1, and number three five of whiskey, climb and yep. maintain a one zero thousand. Climb and maintain one zero thousand. Climb and maintain one zero thousand. Look at that moon. We got a treetop down there on the ground sorting out some mechanical issues that he's trying to resolve. Remember a tree at five of whiskey. I'm pretty sure you're uh, below. Yeah, I'm down here. I, 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 it's a problem with there. the yoke. It's so uh, your climb primary to, uh, control surfaces. Feet. So um, I got some work to do here. I don't know if it's hardware, um, but I got the same behavior in an NX Cub. So it tells me it's not the black square, black excuse me, black square, uh, Baron. I'm thinking it's your your settings, are in <sighs> your set your settings your profile for your stick and rudder. They're both your profiles that you used to use, right? They're not set to the juice goose anymore or anything. You've got the correct profiles. Number three five whiskey could direct shipper. Right, but ever since we changed those, I haven't been. It seems like I haven't been able to get it back. Yeah. So, um, I, I, at least that's been the behavior, but I'll, I'll figure it out here. I'll ask for help, probably, if I need to. <laughs> Not, I mean, tonight we're going to finish out the stream, but I work, this is my number one priority tomorrow. I have to be able to fly here. <laughs> right? This, this yeah, work. flying is an, addi an addiction. <laughs> yeah, is. Number three, five this whiskey, contact Indy Center, one to one yeah, at nine or right point five five. It's, it's the problem with the yoke. It's the, it's the, 
Yeah, it's primary control surfaces. Everything else is working fine. Uh. And no matter which profile I do, I'm getting a shaking yoke. You probably just need to adjust dead zones or something. Yeah, but, but why did it fail I when check. I turned I, I turned base and all of a sudden it did a hard bank to the left That's that I didn't do? It's probably the uh, the like outer dead zone because you know you have a dead zone in the middle, but where you know it won't do anything. But you can also have dead zones on the on the other extreme too. Now true. Splitter, please. Let me give a, uh, a shout out to Splasher6 here. Um, he subscribed earlier today and uh, uh, he's got a great channel. And he just got some good news uh, the past couple of days uh, that he maybe he can share in chat or, or I'll mention it. Uh, but here's a shout out for Splasher6. Yes! That is so awesome, man. You know, the lead up, the anticipation, will it ever happen? It's, you know, years, right? One day there's got to be a B-17 in the sim. Especially with uh, Splasher's history with his dad. His dad was a B-17 pilot um, in World War II there. And, um, you know, there's just... There's got to be, and he's re he's got his dad's log books, and he's reenacting the flights um, on the on his stream, um, and it's like just one day there's got to be one, and sure enough, um, it was just just announced. Uh, uh, Flying Irons, uh, they're going to be developing the B seventeen. Oh wow, that's going to be great, right? And That's yes, super. There'll be two versions, it seems. Uh, the one that you can purchase from them on their website will have the. Hey, Flux, you able to hear me on the frequency at all? No, uh huh? Nope. I was hearing some other stuff a minute ago when you were talking. Then to somebody, uh, but not check right now. your frequencies. I think you're on the wrong thing. Oh, something happened. You're on happened. like the default departure, or you're on the departure. No, frequency. I I hit a button and I was trying to do it for chat, and I did something and it I think it was key bound, and it changed it here. Well, anyways, fly heading zero eight zero. Okay, I'll get it back. Zero, zero eight zero. There we go. Zero eight zero. Oh man, I've been lost in space. Zero eight zero. Your your heading, not your uh, not your course. Needle. Oh shit! Watch your language. <laughs> one seven zero. One seven. One zero eight zero. Well, you gave yourself a long final, that's for sure. Right. I was kind of wondering. I I was trying to turn you like five miles ago. Wow. Okay, I'm going to do a radio check. Uh, Louisville approach, November 6-3, when you run with radio check? Aircraft calling loud and clear. Okay. Man. <laughs> Splasher. Yeah. But I'll, have to, I'll have to clip that one. Oh shit! That was that was a heartfelt one too. I was like, oh my god, what did I do? I do remember doing something. Oh, I think it was the shout out exclamation S O. I started doing. This. Hey, welcome in, Shadow Angel. Love it. Number six three one eight Romeo, turn right, hitting a one six zero, doing only one seven right, both of us. One six zero will go What the fuck, say? What the fuck, say? Uh, American 1918. What the fuck, 
Clark Stink Crofter. Only one seven left. That is my no crashing hotel. November Delta. Hotel November Delta one seven left. And number 18 Romeo to uh, re-intercept the localizer, flying a 190. A 190 for 18 Romeo. 190. Alright, so when he says intercept the localizer, we get this going here. 190. Mm -hmm. Do you have the right frequency in there? Uh, I do. Oh, I, I believe I do. Oh, that's a good question. 11030. I do not. 11030. I don't think you have the right frequency. Yeah, I don't. 11030. APS 1375 heavy. Uh, Louisville approach, Louisville altimeter 3038. Information Oscar, expect. Uh, which ramp did you say again? 7. Expect uh, the visual approach to only 17 right. 17 right. APS 1375 heavy. So the approach plate for, ooh, I didn't know you could do that. The approach plate for 17 right, um, I need to have 110.30 tuned in on the nav radio, and my course heading for 170 is what I'm intercepting, okay? And so I just dialed in the frequency, and we're waiting for this and to come remember across. Remember, one there eight comes. Romeo, you are three miles from Bluegrass. Maintain a three thousand until established on the localizer. You cleared ILS firmly a one to seven right approach. Uh, clear for one seven right approach. Uh, we'll maintain oh, okay. I think three thousand until established on the localizer for one eight Romeo. Knock on wood. Okay, let's get that intercepted. There is my. My uh, glide slope indicator coming into play. Let's get this going here. Intercept, intercept, intercept. Intercept, come on. Intercept. I think we've got a little bit of a wind going on here. Intercept. There we go. Coming in. We're going to switch this to nav. Get the interception going. Here she goes, she's picking it up. Okay, there's 17 right, right ahead of us. Okay, we now just switched over to the ILS approach frequency. We're tuned in to the course 170 for 17 uh, right here. And we have a glide slope indicator right here. And it looks like the glide slope indicator is coming down. So we're going to want to. NDPS uh, 1375, maybe cross the Braille at 7000. Braille at 7000, US 1375. Turn off my altitude hold. And I can start cutting the throttle a little bit when that gets a little bit down to the middle there. Waiting for that indicator to get to the middle. I don't know if you can see a tree, but there's my there's my glide slope indicator coming down. Yep, I, found I see it. it. Yep, yep, exactly like what we talked about. As it gets to the middle, I'm going to start cutting the throttle. I'm established on the localizer. Okay, cutting throttle a little bit. Start a descent. Number 6, tree 1, 8, Romeo. The Louisville winds are 1, tree 0 at 4. Runway 1, 7, right. You're clear to land. Clear to land for, uh, on 1, 7, right for 1, 8, Romeo. American 1918, RNAV2 Drapa, the wind's 130 at 4, runway 17 left, your cliff takeoff. RNAV Drapa, there's a takeoff 17 left, American 1918. Oh, I'm overflying it a little bit here. Got to keep my descent consistent. coming down. I'll get rid of that alarm and I need the uh, the drag at the moment. Okay, light slope indicator is coming back up. I'm pitching my trim. If I were you, I'd, I'd slow down a little bit. 
Yep, I am right. Yep, I, I got the throttle. Is usually you at least want to be within flap speed when you're on an approach. Oh. Yep, I'm bringing it down right now. There she goes. Notch of flaps coming in. Sending a little bit too much. Let's trim her up a little bit. And if we keep that glide slope indicator towards the middle. I'm just protect I'm, I'm pretending like I can't see the runway, right? So I'm trying to use my instruments. I'm trying to use my glide slope yeah, indicator. So in real life, they'd use uh, what they call foggles, and it basically makes it so you can only see the instruments. Oh, yeah, I've seen those before. And yep. you'd have a, uh, a pilot in the right seat that could fly it for you if you really needed to. I remember my dad doing that when he was getting his uh, uh, private pilot's license. All I know is it's better to be a little bit high than a little bit low in this kind of approach. Okay. Good to know. Here's and American 1918, radar contacts, altitude. Passing 3200, American 1918. Our course indicator is right down the middle. That's and American good. 1918. Flight slope's looking good right in the middle. If I look uh, up, I should see the one to zero thousand. Right below my nose as we're descending here. Sit up in my seat a little bit. Nope, I can't. That's okay. Nope, oh, gotta go down a little bit. There's, there's the runway. Her speed's good. Ooh, I'm overflying it, overflying it. Gotta bring her down. Bring her down. Oh, bring her down, Flox. A little high. Hi. Well, Looking good, I can see you coming in. American 1918, contact Indy Center 119.55. Indy Center 1955, American 1918, thank you for the ATC, sir. Good night. Good night. I am high. Okay, there comes my indicators coming back now. Autopilot's coming off. I have the runway in sight. I'm at minimums. Happies are not happy. Looking good. A little low. UBS 1375 to send and maintain 4000. Send 4000. UBS 1375 heavy. Oh, should I have been handed over to Tower again, or do I stay on with you? Tower's gone. Oh, they are? Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, you would never know, because we're just briefing in the background. You don't even hear it. Looking good. 17 right. Just got to kiss it. How are we doing on time? I think that's I think that's time. That's good. That's a good note to end it on. Yeah, I guess if you paid for the whole runway, you're gonna use it there. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. <laughs> like landed oh. pretty far down the runway. Uh, all right, let me get clear here. I got to bring up the the approach that the approach. Where I'm at here, or not the approach, but the uh, airport diagram. All right. The taxiways. Yep. Okay. I am looking for the next taxiway. Hey, remember, a one H Romeo. Are you going back to parking, or are you going out for another approach? Uh, we'll be heading back to parking for one H Romeo. And remember, one H Romeo. Uh, once you're past the hold, short bars there. Uh, you can taxi to parking via Bravo Golf Echo. Cross runway one one at Bravo. Hold short uh, runway three five right at Golf. Oh my God, I wasn't ready for that. Okay, hang on a second. Or you can say say again. That's always not. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, 
uh, taxi via Bravo cross oh, one one via and then via Gulf old short one seven right echo I hope that's right yeah uh, November six three one eight Romeo it's uh, taxi via Bravo Gulf echo cross Romeo one one at Bravo hold short one seven left at Gulf A uh, taxi via Bravo, the Gulf, Echo, Cross, 1-1 one, one at Bravo, hold short, 1-7 left at Gulf or Echo? Well, hold short, 1-7 left. It's hold short at Gulf. Yep, okay, that's a G I wrote. Thanks. <laughs> you got it right eventually. Yep. And Shadow says, nice landing. Thanks for that. Much appreciated. All right, so we are going to go Bravo. All right, so this is the magic of Navigraph, man. I have no idea where I'm at. I'm at night. Okay. But we just came in on 17 right right here. Okay. And we're at Bravo 5. So our taxi instructions. Heavy, field inside one health. Heavy, field inside one health. EPS 1375 heavy. Clear the visual approach to only 17 right. Clear the visual approach to 17 right. EPS 1375 heavy. Golf parallels. EPS 1375 heavy, though winds are 130 to 4. Only so one golf, seven right, all the way land. down here to Echo. Right, land, UPS but we got to hold short heavy. at Golf. That's what we're doing. Bravo to Golf. Cross 1 1. Yep. Yeah, we got it. All right, let's do it. And I'll be over to meet you there, Fox. Where's that? I got her fixed. Oh, you did? Good. Uh, yeah, it was hardware. So the contacts on the bottom of my uh, joystick were loose. I thought, what? What? Why am all these different profiles the same behavior? Local information popping out. Current wind well, two eight zero at three uh, altimeter three zero. Clean the contacts there. and screwed it down a little tighter, and now I got yeah. There's no shaking. Full control. Oh, good. So, so, so when I was doing that base, I just, I lost some of the inputs, and then there was no answer. No matter what I did. All right, here's the whole short line for one one. We were told to cross it, so we're crossing. Crossing one one. Okay, and this is Gulf. Here's the whole short line for the other side. Now we're turning on to Gulf. See treetop in the distance there. It's 1375 heavy radar oh. contact lost. Uh, time zero four zero two and one quarter. I got off of the uh, off of my taxiway here. I thought I was following the right line. Still not it. What the heck? Yeah, it looks like you kind of went the wrong way there. Yeah, I got. I took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. <laughs> I'm getting her sorted out, though. You took a wrong turn and somehow ended up in Paris. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. It's like I gave you a straight shot of a taxi, too. I know. And number 1 H Romeo, cross from 1 7 left at Golf. Uh, cross one runway one seven at Gulf or whatever. All right, that's a little ways ahead. I gotta play back the VOD and see see if I can figure out where I took that wrong turn. I 
I wish the lights on the on the uh, the aircraft were a little bit brighter because I know in real life I'd be able to see that yellow line shooting off ahead of me further than you know 20 feet in front of the aircraft and it's just just hard to, t to anticipate on at the intersections all right so we're taxiing down golf we got our clearance to cross one seven uh, left and then we'll head up via echo But I don't think I got the instruction to go up Echo. I just got the instruction to hold short at Golf, if I remember right. I'll have to contact him again. This is how it's looking on uh, the map now. Yeah, I'm right here. This, this line right here is a runway incursion area. So now we're crossing runway keep going straight here we go we're picking up the old line again we're going to be passing the whole short line here here it is okay will power November 6-3 UNA Romeo holding short 1-7 left at Golf, uh, looking for instructions to FBO parking. Hey, November 6th, tree, one h Romeo, didn't you write down uh, via Echo in your parking, your taxi instructions? I must have missed that part. My last entry was Golf. Oh, okay. Well, taxi to parking via Echo. Yeah, go for one Romeo. And there's treetop in the distance. Yeah, Shadow, I mean, it, it's pretty cool because then like on the taxi ride back and in, in, in like I can I can see where the parking is. I, I can see tree. I can see where it is on the map. You just start getting like a sense of relief, and you start reflecting on, you know, what did we accomplish? What do I need to work on next time? Good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Well, you did a great job, Flux. I wish I hadn't had the failure here, but uh, next week. But I'm. I'm relieved to have an answer for it, at least, so right? I can just fine-tune the profile to get anything else I want working. Reverse thrust, one of them, reverse pitch. Now, is it something you're able to tighten up and get the connection back again? Yeah, so it's happened before. I just, I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier, but yeah, that the 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 screw that holds the joystick onto the contact points to the base gets loose over time so that makes perfect sense why it was fluttering in the cockpit and then well, after I took off I had some uh, I, I thought it might have been weather or wind but I, I had some huge knocks of what I thought was wind where all of a sudden I'm 20 degrees it's like what the heck so when I started that base and then, I, and then all bets were off it's like now there's no control mm. so uh, yeah now it's She's spot on the money. Nice. So, hopefully you can thread needles for some time to come. It sounds like a plan. All right, so let's get the chocks in, the tie downs on. Turn that button <laughs> off. Okay. And we'll pull Rich on the mixture, kill the engine. There we go. Strobe's already off. Um, okay. Nav. Landing light. Beacons are off. Avionics and Master is off. 
back in flashlight mode and checking out the the moon here cold and dark nice uh shadow says yeah it looks very fun to do and i hope i can join one day you bet yep check out vatsim uh dot net uh vatsim dot net and uh check out the website uh read over the material there um uh, you need to register with VATSIM. Um, then there's some courses that they introduce you to. There is a test. I think it's like 30 questions, but it's open book, as I recall. Um, and then you'll get the VATSIM or the VATSPY uh, application pointed to it. You'll get the VPILOT application pointed to it. That's how you get on the uh, get on VATSIM here. So the, VAT, the VATSPY application is this thing here. Uh, it, that's Navigraph. This is, where is it, where is it, where is it? There it is. This is the uh, VAT spy. This is how you know where to spawn in. So down here we have a tower. We've got a tower controller down to this airport. There's a tower controller here, you see the T. So this is how you know where to spawn in. This blue circle means there's a central uh, uh, controller, center controller controlling the airspace in between all these airports airways and anyways this is what you use to figure out where to fly in the world you know where somebody's on on frequency and then v pilot is how you log on to the network and so the radios and everything work um this is v pilot i'm going to disconnect now there we go uh but this is where you can set a flight plan File your flight plan. Um, you do it a few times, it gets easier and easier to do. Um, so yeah, check out batsim.net and go from there. All right, Tree. I'm glad. Hey. I'm glad you got it sorted out, man. Yeah, yeah, that was a worry. It's like, wait a minute, what am I doing with all these profiles out? None of them work. It's yeah. like, okay, well, then it goes back to one source: this, the hardware. So uh, yeah, thankfully I just I did a uh, one circuit while you were coming in. Oh good. It, she works all all late cylinders working nice. good. Nice. So we'll be ready for tomorrow night and wherever it takes us. Yep. Uh, uh, Thursday nights are GA night. Um, I think we might continue our search and rescue ser uh, series that we started. Uh, Papa Mish has put together quote unquote missions, if you will. Um, and he has some scenery where, um, he has some people that need to be rescued from in various, uh, uh, emergency situation predicaments. And so, uh, we take off from an airport, um, and we head out, we get a, uh, emergency call that we answer. And, uh, we were thinking that we were going to handle three of them in one stream, uh, that he had set up. And it took us a uh, uh, one stream two hours just to get the first one handled. <laughs> so we yeah. got we got two more to explore. So I think that's what we'll be doing tomorrow night. So yeah, tune in tomorrow, seven p.m. Pacific. Um, we'll probably be in a helicopter for these uh, rescue missions, but you're you can fly whatever you want to fly. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll look forward to to rescuing somebody tomorrow night. And SDW has a comment there. Oh, Shadow oh. had a question. Let's see. Uh, SDW mentioned, if you ever see a bunch of ATC online in an area, check if there's an event going on. I would not recommend flying around those as a new pilot. Yeah, good advice. Um, look for an airport that's only got, you know, two or three airplanes in it. A small airport, you know, not an international airport and start there. Yep. Uh, he said, Shadow asks, can you still use SimBrief to set the flight plan in VATSIM? And SDW mentions, yes, if you fly airliners, it's recommended. Just read up on what clearance you are filing. Cool. And yeah. I'll just add one little quick uh, story I, I got today. I just wanted to mention it before we got off. Uh, it, it was out of Florida. A high school student, 17 years old, does not have a driver's license, uh, but went through their Aero Academy there with the high school and got her private pilot's license, PPL. I read and that, too. And so she... Yeah, so she flies. She got I don't know how many hours as a PPL in an aircraft, but uh, does not have a driver's license for a car. Isn't that amazing? 
<laughs> Amazing. 17 years old. Yep. Well, that was pretty cool to, to see that. So, lots of fun. You can do anything. Yep. I wish I would have done this almost much longer in real life, but I didn't, didn't do it. Yep. But we get to do it no, here. But we do it here. We do it here. We do it now, and and uh, we have a have a blast. So thanks everyone for joining in. And sorry about my hardware failure, but uh, next week's another bat sim night, and uh, more to come with that. And and maybe uh, tomorrow night we'll rescue somebody before they freeze to death. Hopefully, yep. All right, and Raleigh, good day, Mike. And uh, thanks for uh, uh, being up on the pattern with us tonight, Raleigh. And we'll catch you next time. Yep. Shadow, thanks for the follow tonight. Great having you in chat, and uh, uh, we'll leave the hangar doors cracked open for you. Join us anytime. Shadow Angel and Aces of Spades with the sub, along with Splasher 6 with the sub tonight. Sending us to FS Expo 2024. Like I said, <laughs> yes. I set up a savings account. Everything that comes in, subs, bits, whatever, it's all being moved over to that savings account to send us over there. So thank you for that support. And uh, we'll look for somebody to raid. And uh, I had a blast with you last night, uh, uh, Tree, uh, handing out candy in each other's, yes. other's drive. <laughs> so Tree and I, if you're just joining us, uh, met in my driveway. He had his candy bowl for his house. I had ours for our house. And their kids were coming in our driveway and getting a two-for-one deal. It was, it, was, it was great. We had a fire pit going. Um, yeah, it was, great. it was awesome. <laughs> we had a good time. All right. We'll look for somebody to raid. We'll see you, Tree. Okay, bye, flocks. Bye, everyone. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>